Oh, fuck. I did not want to do exit there. Oh, well, not the big deal. Um, we have this uh, prompt. So what we can do is we can look at what happens in a... Uh, let's go directly into an EFI uh, print or write format. The fuck is it? Uh, output, output string. Let's try this. EFI output string moose. We'll try this. Um. Uh. Okay, uh, hopefully I added that as a boot option. Reset. Yeah, I think that now is, uh... What the fuck?! <laughs> what?! Print, uh, uh, memory model, um, s something, um, let's try this. We override that memory model, but, uh, make clean. Feels almost like a data reference sort of issue. Uh, we do override that uh, model, but that's okay. Um, at this point, this basically matches uh, what we have. So let's try some shit in here. Let's go really light there. I think this one fails. I don't think it lar likes a large code model on Eric 64. It does not. Um, so let's try a code model uh, medium. Uh, only small, tiny, and large. Shit. What is he doing? I'm working on an operating system, but I'm uh, porting my operating system to ARM right now. In the background. Um. Okay. Is it? Is it these? Offset, I I is I size, right to S, which is the new pointer, right C, I I plus equals one. That looks good. Mem copy. Dest source. Right. Read the value at the source. Right to the desk, update II. It feels like it's probably mem copy related, which is uh, really weird. Um, or something like that. That's what it feels like. Uh, let's build a release. Good. Oh, fuck you. Is it literally just perf? No, is it? 
Was it really just perf? <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, dude. OSF is so fucking easy. Is that the is that the first Rust Yuffie uh Yuffie Arm 64 kernel? <laughs> Are we arm now? Yeah, I told you guys it'd be a fucking joke to support arm. Um just gonna put all these in. Now it's basically identical. Fucking easy. We got ACPI listings too. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Wait a minute, is that not, why is that not, uh, why is that not based at leap? We getting relocated? That might be fair, maybe? Um... We couldn't do fixed, right? We tried that. Uh, C uh, link arg fixed, and and this was like no, no, no. Oh, it's because physical memory is at a ridiculous address. Yeah, we had to get relocated. Look at look at look at where we are in fucking RAM, dude. We're on the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, look at this memory map. Oh man. We are good. We are good. How much RAM is free? A gig? <laughs> yeah. I told you. I told you this kernel would just fucking work out of the box on ARM64. We literally had to make no changes to our kernel to have it work on ARM64. Did you see that? Did, you, did everyone see that? Everyone see how fucking awesome that was? Literally it just worked. Everything. Everything. Of course we had to make a target specification so we could tell the compiler how to generate code. Uh, but we didn't actually have to change the code of our kernel. <laughs> that, my friends, is sick nasty. And everything fucking worked. Just works. Hell yeah, it does. Um, and then I'm switching to use that uh, config or in the cargo directory just to hide that a bit more. Easy. But it doesn't work in debug? I think it does. It's just that slow. <laughs> I think it's just that slow. <laughs> Um, hell yeah. Whoo! Fucking easy, dude. Um, There you go. That's what it takes to writing an op to write an operating system, um, uh, for ARM. <laughs> Fucking sick, dude. Uh, okay, let's see if this has a SPCR now. <laughs> we can just do whatever we want now. <laughs> can do whatever we want. Um. Let's get a table type, SPCR. This is the um, serial port console redirection table. Okay.
and it. Get the tables. Go through all of them. Table type, SPCR. Print, we have an SPCR. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop. Um, it's easy to do a cross-platform OS if you don't do interrupts. I mean, who needs interrupts? Interrupts are fucking pointless. Where we're going, we don't need no interrupts. We'll need exceptions, but exceptions are easy. Interrupts are trash. Um, okay, so we'll go and... Um, let's think. Let's think together, chat. Uh, Uh, sports mass branch porting is currently ongoing. Okay. Um. Let me see if I can uh, find the image. Do we have to build the EDK2 myself for this? Plus ATF, this is bootletter. Um, ISO, yep, needs to be installed. EDK platforms. Uh, let's see if uh, that is just present. Um, I I doubt it will be. Uh, find star grep solid. Oh wow, it's in there. Um, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Make their uh, Kimu from uh, Yuffie. Okay, just saving those off. Um, D include TFTP command. Ooh, what's that? Um. B release ARC sixty four GCC five include TFTP command. Okay, yeah, well, uh, we'll we'll add that. That sounds fun. We can do that. I ain't scared. And then uh, we'll just say EDK platforms platforms solid run Armada MX bin this dot descriptor. Um, oh yeah, let's, uh, we'll do it up on this, uh, other terminal where we have the environment set up. Oh, more than one targets are not supported. Um, did I miss something? That's what I ran before, and... Oh, dash D. Oh! Huh? Huh? Do you use all your uh, monitors regularly? Yeah, for sure. Pretty easily. Okay. Okay. Um... 
Wait for it to finish. Okay, sick. That's what I imagined I would do. Um, I'm glad it tells me that. Then, uh, wait, wait for it to finish. The output binary will be uh, available in some directory. So we're building this directly out of the Yuffie stuff. We're using like the, uh, the master. We're not using the Marvel branch, which is kind of cool. So hopefully this is like a, a slightly higher uh, quality or more recent. I don't want to say higher quality, but more recent. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh boy, do I see uh do I see Python 2 here? Uh Gen FDs. Line 70 in Gen section. Oh, this one. Um, 466. Okay, um, array array has no attributes from string. Okay. Um, Thoughts? Do I even have Python 2? I don't even have Python 2. Um, shit. Section data is array that. Section data from string. This is an array. Be that. Array dot array has no attribute from string. Section data from string. Um. Um, array dot array. What is array dot array? Is that numpy? What is array? Efficient arrays of numeric values. Okay. New in version 3.2, from string is renamed to from bytes for clarity. I don't know if that encode's gonna fuck me. Uh, two bytes encode section data two bytes. Yep, two string renamed to two bytes for clarity. Easy, easy, dude. 
How the fuck do people ever struggle to build things? It's so easy. Just fix the build system when it doesn't work. Yeah, that's a fucking dab and a half, dude. Um, okay. Set up the EDK2 binary as the payload for ARM trusted firmware. This set, uh, this step is needed to build the bootloader, uh, including image, including ATF and the EDK2 for Macchiato bin. Um, so this Armada EFI right here, this is basically the, the firmware. Yeah, that looks like a reset vector. Sick. Yep. Looks good. Um, okay, so this says uh, we just want to export BL33 as the, uh, it doesn't say base name, but we'll say base name of um, Armada EFI. Echo BL33, that should, ba ba not base name, um, a real path. Okay. So, that's the full path, and then I need to build ATF. Arm-trusted framework. Okay. Okay. ATF. It tells me to check out a specific branch, but we're just going to ignore that. Um, Makedir MVDDR. CDMVDDR. Okay. Really wants me to do this. Um, uh, setting up branches. We're going to ignore that for now. Oh, geez. Fuck off, dude. Okay. Nice repo and check out some some stuff. Oh wait, a new export. Um, um CD into binaries. Ah, this one I think I might have to do a checkout. Here we go. Let's try it. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Uh, export scoop BL2 is equal to real path. Uh, and they want me to use this. Cool. Next, set up the cross compile stuff. Uh, arc arm 64 export cross compile is equal to arc 64 Linux GNU. Then go into ATF. Uh, and then, like, uh, apparently it, it says this. Okay, um, we're gonna check out those repos like they told us to do, and we ignored. Um, okay. Um, MVDDR, want this. Sick. Go fuck yourself. Oh, baster. The fuck's baster? This? It's just the current directory. I'll just say, uh, just say pwid. Yeah. Easy. Fucking easy. Shit! Um. Oh, this is an easy fix. Might be uninitialized. Yeah, it's just some uninitialized memory usages. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. We can uh, we can fix that. Um,
Bye. Okay. You for unsigned. Yeah. Checks out. Uh, and now you have your boot letter image, uh, flash image bin can be flashed onto the Macchiato bin boot devices. Um, the move adder checkout didn't work. Really? The move DDR? No, I checked that out. We're good. I forget how to flash this piece of shit. Um... Um, bub T. Okay. Uh, I might even already just have Yuffie flashing on this thing.
see if I can squeeze this USB port in here. Holy shit, nice. Um, ah, looks good. That looks great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. There we go. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Um... Am I the only person who uses screen to do USB uh, or serial ports? Reset, do I have a reset button? This thing's a unit, but I need a reset button. Uh, there's a button here. Did that reset it? Hey! How do I quit fucking screen? <laughs> quit screen. Tell me how to quit screen. Sick. 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 I want to exit the screen. Get me all the way out. Uh, there we go. Detached? Did that actually kill screen? No, it didn't. Sick. Um, booting from SD card. Yeah, no SD card. Um, yeah, let me check what my pins are configured for here. Um, Two gigahertz, 2400 is what I actually have the processor configured for. Hell yeah. The highest power, highest chug chug mode. I know you can't hear me when I'm over here. Um, to kill screen, CA. Okay, we'll try it. I'm, sc I'm skeptical that it'll work. Yeah, I'd, uh, what? 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 Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't I don't think that works. What a piece of shit. Um So, how do I flash this thing? Nope, done work. <laughs> done work. Um It doesn't actually work. Yeah. Yeah, sick. 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 High quality. Uh, Maki ought to have been flash. How do I fucking flash this thing? It 
It can be flashed. Yeah, I recognize that it can be flashed, but how do I flash it? Okay, and this website does not work if it's a small screen. That's nice. Um, CA plus. I'm skeptical. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Doesn't seem to work. <laughs> um, all right, how do I get into the bootloader here? How do I get into the bootloader? Uh, you can check the ATF and U-boot U -boot version. Prints this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how? How do I? How do I? Uh, uh, I can flash an SD card. Yeah, I know how. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Is it just only booting from the SD card? Do I need to uh, change the pins? I can have it go to the speed ROM, but I'd imagine that there's some way that I can get into the bootloader. Control A colon quit. Oh yeah, fuck that. I don't want that. that that's, all, that's so much work. Um, what is this, Vim? Can you do a Q? Oh, cool. They don't have a shortcut. Nice. Does the ROM have a shell? I think it does. BL2, then U boot. Uh, successfully flashed, built and flashed as per here. Oh, okay. Copy that to TFTP boot MC bin. I don't, I don't have to TFTP it, do I? Um... Power on the Macchiato bin, interrupt the auto boot process, and have it stay in the U boot command prompt. Oh, okay. Um, I might need a micro SD card. Shit, where would I find a micro SD card? Uh, uh, So, I got a micro SD card, and then let's just put the like stock firmware on here, I guess. Uh, 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 uh. Software, here we go. Um, what if I just grab the bootloader only? Is that, is that good enough? Is that good enough? Let me see what I can do. Um, Uh, 
Flash image. Okay, let's just put this on an SD card and see what happens. Maybe I could just do that with the uh, EDK, to be honest. I don't know if I need to actually flash it onto the SPI. Um... We'll start with the flash image, the official one. Let's just see if this even works. Um... No valid header till end of media. Not a good look. Let's try, uh, let's just grab the Ubuntu image and uh, see what happens there. Ubuntu SD card image. There we go. Ah, good mirror. Um... Come on. It's a big image. Holy shit. Uh, oh, do they... F is it? Oh, God. Um... <laughs> okay. Makes me want to pull up my hardware and do something with ARM and FPGAs again. Ah, uh, it's not that fun. Um, we'll see what happens here. It's TFTP server. Walk you through the bootloader update process via the network. Yeah, why, why would I want to do that? That seems like a lot of work. Sync, sync. Pop the SD card out. Pop it in here. Bop. And then, uh... Sick. There we go. Um, okay, we in this. So bub T to update the bootloader. Um LS, so I got some devices here. Look at that, CPU, 2,000 megahertz. My RAM's supposed to be at 2,400. I don't know why my RAM's not at 2,400. It probably is. Um, they probably show the half data rate or the, the, the bus rate. Um, okay. So, help, what do I have here? Boot, boot command, boot EFI, uh, boot elf, bub t, burn a U-boot image to flash. Load a binary file from exe2, okay. Wow, this is a powerful bootloader. Um, fat ls, and then uh, sd. Maybe interface. Uh, how do I figure out what interfaces are here? Um,
Um, T from that, burning that to MMC. And I have an MMC option. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'll want to do here, isn't it? I'm going to U-boot image to flash. But how do I list devices? Because I don't know, I don't know what device I'm in. I haven't seen uh, hardware info. Nope. Fuck. Memory display, MMC, MMC info. Okay, cool. Um, MMC list. Ah, there we go. Um, so then we can do, um, I guess LS on, is this the interface? Or is that the device? <laughs> the fuck is an interface? Uh, MMC? There we go. Um... LSMMC1. Burning that from TFTP to MMC. Server IP not set. Yeah, and I would like to do it, uh, bub T. The image file name to burn, flash image, destination, and then the source. Can I say SD? Oops. <laughs> uh, file name, uh, foop. Unknown destination source. Oh, I see. Uh, destination is, I want to write to the MMC, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Um, pretty sure. Bub T. And then the source, can I say SD? MMC? Yeah, uh, MMC1. Do I have to do TFTP? I don't want to do TFTP. That's so much work. Let me just let me just see if I can uh, directly use it uh, via the SD card. Bink, bink, bink. Maybe the EDK will go directly on that SD card. Please fucking work. Um, what did we build? We built something. Um, build ATF. Then we have a flash image. Okay, so if we go to ARX64, uh, then if I go into ATF, 
uh, build a release. Okay, DDIF is flash image, OF is dev SDA, uh, sudo. Let's see. Because if we can get the EDK working directly on there, that would be the nuts. Shit. I think there's like a way that I can package that that I feel like I remember doing before. Um, huh. So, update the bootloader, proper things, Ethernet interface, the U boot. How did I do this before? Cause I, I don't think I ever did TFTP on this thing. Um, I would imagine, so I have a boot image and a flash image. So let's try the boot image. That sounds fun. Boot image, bank. All right, this, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. I just used a different file name and it's gonna work now. Fuck. <sighs> hmm. God, those things got toasty. Um. I swore I packaged this in a way that I could boot it directly off the SD card. And. That's kind of annoying if I can't. Hmm. I just don't want to set up the fucking TFTP on this. It's just going to suck. Should be ETH2. Um, unless I have... Unless I already have it on the MMC. There's a chance that I literally just already have EDK on here. Okay, maybe I have nothing on the MMC. <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay. Think. No SD card. Yep, because it's not plugged in. Yeah, I, s I swear I had this working. Um, where I was able to just boot it directly off that SD card, and I'm kind of upset. Unless I hacked on the, like... Uh, Ubuntu image? Maybe? 
I knew this part was going to suck, unfortunately. I think I might be able to replace the uh, bootloader in the Ubuntu image and then uh, basically go from there. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to get a DHCP lease or not. Um, ECT Act and ETH Prime. Okay, so let's see. See to mount uh or just do D message. To mount dev SDA1 mount mount. So let's mount mount. Okay, nothing on there. Uh so you mount mount mount. And that's the Ubuntu image. Uh, image, I think that's the kernel. Yeah, it looks like a kernel, not a bootloader, I think. Um, shit. <laughs> I was hoping I could just pop that on there somewhere. Uh, MC Ben. Boot sources, hardware, what's this? Generate images, update the image. Wow, actually a TFTP server. Okay, okay. Then I guess we'll have to TFTP. I don't want to, but uh, we can. It'll be better for uh, doing research remote anyways, so. Okay. Now, in theory, okay. Um, let's see if we can get an IP address here. Come on. Um, okay. I don't know if that's ETH2, to be honest. So this will be the board IP? Okay, let's try this. Uh, 168.1.123. Server IP 192.168.1.2. Bub T. Waiting for phi negotiation? Nice. Um, okay. 
So T, I'm assuming is timeout. Uh, and then I just need a TFTP server. Unless there's a better TFTP server, but I feel like all the TFTP servers require Oh, Solar Winds. Oh, yay. Let's let's get that one. Um I don't know if Gentoo has a recommendation for TFTP. Uh make sure it serves TFTP root and start it. Okay. Uh We'll try that. We'll see what happens. Okay. Start the. P uh, now it's ready. Uh, where's the fucking config files for it? I'm telling you, TFTP is always a fucking pain in the ass, dude. The fuck? Dude, it's always a pain in the fucking ass because it's just like it's stuffed in like a random binary if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Let's see if we can find some better fucking information about this. In.tftp, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, dash capital L, uh, foreground. Dash dash secure. Uh, change root directory on startup. And then uh, one directory. Okay, let's try this. Um, Gotta find where that binary was. Find star grep flash. Uh, build this release. Okay. In tftpd dash l secure. And then uh, let's just do pwid. There we go. Sick. Um, okay. So I allegedly flashed that. So if I switch to EMMC, that's what I would guess, is that that will now boot from the EDK. Will it though? Let's get our uh, X's in chat to doubt. <laughs> what? Mm. 
that's one, two, three, four, and empty. No valid header. Okay. Um. Um. I disagree. No valid header until end of media. Isn't that the same shit we got when we tried to boot it from the SD card? Does this just not boot? Because I'm starting to feel like this just doesn't boot. I think that's just kind of how this works. Um... Unless I don't want to boot from the EMMC and I want to go from the SPIROM, but I don't think so. Let's just see what happens. I'm actually curious what's on there. Fuck these jumpers, dude. Found valid boot position. Starting binary extension. What's this? This is the, this is the SPI. No partition table, MMC zero. Is my MMC fucked? I don't think so. Um, so like I can serve that and then I can do dot one dot to set env IP adder 182.168.1.123 bub t oh oh now now I'm burning it to the speed <laughs> whoo Okay, okay. I'm about this. This is fun. It's doing stuff. I don't know if this is good, uh, but but we're flashing it. It's good. It's, it's great. It's great. It's great. Okay. Written. Did it say written before? Bytes transferred. Yeah, I mean that did something. <laughs> like it 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 did a thing. Okay, reset. Oh, what? yeah, MVDDR uh today. EDK, there we go. Sick. Where do I stick these jumpers so I don't lose them? I'll just, I'll just hang them off the uh, edge but not actually connect them. There we go. All right, um, look at that, like a champ. So, uh, sudo wipe fsa dev sda. D message. 
Come on, let me wipe that. F is dev SDA. BS is one meg. I can DD to it, but I can't wipe FS it. All right, we'll just DD that fucking thing then. I think you didn't write it to flash. You just loaded it into memory. Yeah. Well, we're good. Um, I mean, th we're using the the speed ROM instead of um instead of the MMC. I'd imagine the the speed ROM is off chip, so I can uh, I could lift that chip if I like actually brick something, um, and then I'm guessing these block devices are going to be um, probably SD cards and stuff. So I don't know um, EDK to boot uh, network. How, how do I, how do I EDK network boot? Help. PCI, let's see. Oh, okay, okay. TFTP, okay. Uh, too few arguments. Uh, 102.168.1.2. Uh, foo. Uh -huh. Oh, I can ping, I can ping. I have ping. Well, uh, that, yeah, okay, we'll just reset. <laughs> I like how resetting is so easy on these boards, where you can just be like, yep, didn't go as planned, just reset. That's good. Look at that, yeah, we built that today. Looks good. Help. Um, dev tree. Oh yeah, look at that. Sick. No configured interfaces. D D H D H C P D D mm, net. Uh, I I mm, I have config. Flags lack. I have config question mark. If config uh, list the configuration. If config media presence. Okay, so that's ETH2. Nice, nice. We definitely have support for this stuff. Um, let's just get a um, S name. Set the configuration, I'm guessing name, ETH2, and then uh, DickP. Okay, get a, get a lease. <gasps> Woo! We got a lease! We got a lease, ping 192.168.1.2. Easy. Easy. Okay, um... You should be able to uh, put a, a startup.sh somewhere on a device and the shell would execute it. Uh, how would I edit that on the thing here? Dev tree? We did dev tree before. Oh yeah, you guys are like a mile behind in chat. Uh, the advice from chat is going to be probably useless. Download file from TFTP. Uh, manages the boot config. Um, driver boot. Uh, EDK two uh, BCFG. Edits the NVRAM, uh, BCFG boot dump V. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm, I'm used to seeing. Uh, okay, Ubuntu, of course, at the top of the list there. Um, and what we want to do is 
is uh, we want to do a Pixie V4. Um, and then what's the MAC address on that? It's probably the odd one out. So MAC address three. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Um, Well, tell me ETH2 in here. Source IP. None of these have an IP associated with them. Um, Mac 2. Ten, eleven, so zero, one, two. Yeah, this is probably it. Right? Yeah, uh, oh, three. Mac address three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. So this one? Three, um, so I can do edit. It's kind of cool. Um, so BCFG TFTP. Dude, why do people give the worst fucking advice? Do I have land boot? No. Um, so I just have no idea how I set that, uh, TFTP, BCFG, boot test. So I don't know how I do a, a pixie boot. Um, so add three OS loader EFI my OS. Yep. Is that going to attempt to download it from the Pixie server? I don't think so. It's just going to add a thing and I need to, like, don't I need to tell it where to get that from? Add a driver option number five. Boot add this, yep. Move eight zero. Uh... So that's the, that Nick, and then uh, let's just do a reset.
but don't I need to, to give it like a, a boot file name? I mean, or is it just getting the uh, standard one from the network? Yeah, so I think that failed. Um, unfortunately, I think it like cleared the screen a couple times. Like there was definitely more information there, and we lost it, um, cause it like cleared the fucking screen. Um. So. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that actually got a lease. Uh let me let me check. Um Let me see. I can basically I can delete the lease on my DHP server. Holy shit. The MAC address is literally 3. Zeros followed by a 3. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that that is literally the MAC address. Is three. Cool. <laughs> literally three. Wow. Wow. Um. Like these are the actual Macs. Let me see if any of these popped up. No. <laughs> what if you gave it a network path and a file path field? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not I'm I'm not sure. I'm I feel very boxed in right now on this stuff. So we're, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, I can't delete that lease. Because the device is online? Like, what the fuck? Sick. Um. I don't know why PFSense won't let me uh, delete a lease, if it, even if it's active. I feel like it should just let me uh, kick that fucking lease to the curb. Uh, yeah, it it didn't get a lease when I booted. So let me uh, boot this. Wait, maybe it did get a lease. Um, something just asked for lease. Oh, it did, it did get a lease. Sick. So it got a lease, so it uh, probably tried to boot, and then, um, I don't have my server set up. So I think I can add a static mapping for this. Uh, let's see what I have in use on my network. Okay, I can use this IP. Uh, we'll just say um, arm. We'll call it army. And then I should be able to give it a TFTP server. 192.168.1.2. And... Okay, I don't know if I can give that a, um... I don't know if I can give it a, a unique file name for that. TFTP, yep. Network booting. Next server, yep. Uh, one, two, and then uh, Yuffie, 64 bit file name.
Uh... Well, we'll do- we'll throw FuzzOS in there, but I don't know how I, uh, give a specific, um... I don't know how you give this one a specific path. Because obviously I don't want all machines on my network to get this fucking ARM image, right? Um, and I don't know how to configure that. Yeah, release. Um, TFTP. And can I get like verbose, man, in .tftpd? Uh, dash V verbose. Oh, you can specify it multiple times. Okay, that means we do a dash VVV. The, the classic. All right. Um, let's see if that hits that. I'm not seeing any hits on the TFTP server. Let me just try uh, IP config. Uh, if config. If config L. So we did get the, the address that I want, which is good. Um, I do love that MAC address. That's a good one. That, that might be my favorite MAC address so far. Um, three. <laughs> so fucking good. Everyone refresh your streams. I think my internet's not shit again. So, uh, we should be, we should be, uh, smooth sailing. Otherwise, you're gonna be so far behind. Uh, that chatting won't really work. Um, how how is this romantic OSF without the candle? Yeah, I do need to set that up. Uh, help, help. TFTP. Foo. Uh, hello. TFTP. Host one nine two one six eight one dot two ASDF. And you can't control C that. Cool. 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 I'm seeing no hits on my server side unless dash VVV. Um, won't actually tell me, uh, when connections are made. Dash V. Okay. Oops. Um, you can actually check your delay uh, on the stream, but uh, yeah, it'd be really nice if I could control C that. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. It finally gave up. Um, we'll just say uh, I ETH2. Unable to get the files has. Okay, so I just get no fucking logging information. Apparently three Vs is not verbose enough to get like a fucking failed request. Oh, fuck off, dude. What, how, is it logging to a file? Like, it's fucking useless.
Who logs to a fucking log file? No, I see nothing. I have no idea where this logs to. There's no information on where this gets logged to. Nice, dude. What a great TFTP server. Really nice. Really fucking nice. Love it. That's so cool. Nothing like having a dash V flag and then you literally print nothing. Nothing. Not listening on this. Not doing anything. Literally nothing. There's one hit. There's one hit for log in the entire man page, and that is to, for verbose, which increases the uh, verbosity of the logging. And then where does it log to? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh my god, what a piece of shit software. No, there's no log files in var log, no references to TFTP, there's no output to standard out, there's no output to standard error. Really fucking nice. Um, usually started by inet d, but it can also run standalone. Yup. Does it need to run an inet d to log? Is that, is that what's going on? It needs to be uh, inet d? Um, yep, yeah, uh, so there's just no log, sick, 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 <laughs> let's see where it logs to, let's see, intftpd, uh, log file, where does it log to, log to a separate file, Var log? Oh, it's not in there. Um, let's see. Is it? Is it going to syslog? Uh, no. How the fuck do I check syslog? What? How do I check syslog? Check syslog. How do I check syslog? Var log syslog. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's it, that file doesn't exist. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's probably trying to log to uh, a service that doesn't exist. What a great TFTP server. I'm. That's fucking awesome. Great, great. How fucking useful is that? Yay! A thing that logs to a, a non-existent logging service. Woo! Woo! How cool is that? Jesus fucking Christ. Come on, dude. Dude, TFTP? is th there's never fucking services that actually work for this piece of shit, simple protocol. Everything is always fucking garbage. I like this. This is good. We're going to grab this. This is what I want. Uh... 
This is good. Um, port? Uh, I think the port by default is what? 68. Um, no, TFTP, uh, sorry, is, is, um, TFTP. Sixty nine. Shit, I was close. Sixty eight is DHP. Um Okay, will this one produce logs? No, no no logs from this one either. Dude, it literally prints nothing! How the fuck do you do that? What are you doing? Implement like one fucking printout! Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, dude. Debug true. There we go. Let's set debug true in the code itself. How is that not a thing? Thank fuck. There we go. Now we can see if this tries to make a request. Because apparently that's not a piece of information that your server would record on a typical server. Come on. What's going on? It's like stuck. Hello? Hello? Reset? Oh my god, dude. Hello? Is this just hang? Let's try it. I reset the TFTP server to see if this gets mad. <laughs> How? How? Like, I just should pull open Wireshark so I can actually fucking see what's happening. This is uh, uh, unbelievable. How the fuck do you write? <sighs> like, why does it just hang now? I don't get it. Why does it just hang? It didn't do that before. Seems like a standard situation with TFTP servers. Yes, it absolutely is. TFTP servers never work. They never work. They're always absolute dog shit. It is the hardest protocol in the world to implement. The spec is multiple pages long. It's insane to me. I don't know why this board refuses to boot. Is it that server? If I, let's see, if I don't have that server running, what happens? Let's see. Let's see. Is it just gonna hang here? Is this, uh, we're just not gonna get a shell anymore? Just decided it's no longer interested in doing shells? What the fuck? It just, it, it just, I just decided it no longer wants to work? 
Uh, TFTP. Okay. Let's see what Wireshark says. <laughs> nice. Nice. Might be time for me to write a TFTP server and just get rid of this shit. Move on. No hits to TFTP. And then this just hangs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> escape for boot options. I hit escape. Uh, okay, I'll just disconnect uh, Ethernet. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe it'll boot now. Is it just like confused? How does it just stop working? How do you do that? It just stop is just it just doesn't work anymore. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How? How? You just wh what are you doing? <laughs> what is it doing? We'll do a hard part power down. Plug it back in. Let's see let's see what happens. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Son of a bitch. How? How? What? Why? Like, what? How? How do you... Uh, how is that possible? That makes no sense. How do you just stop working? <laughs> what? Nothing changed. Literally nothing changed. Holy shit. That is what I didn't want to happen. I luckily found it. Oh. It, it worked when I unplugged those? <laughs> Sick. And now it won't reboot? <laughs> Wait.
Was having those jumpers on there like a problem? But we had them on there before. <sighs> Did it just take that long? What the fuck? <sighs> hey, okay. Will it hit TFTP? No. No. Um. Got a lease. How do I give it a boot file? Like, enter the root path string. Oh, net boot file name. Name of the file that should be loaded when the host boots off the network. Uh, foobar. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Uh. See what happens here. Okay, nice. I see. Uh, DHP server. It's not pinging anything yet, not surprised. Uh, but network booting, TFTP. Save. Okay. And then once I enable that, then I can set a custom uh, netboot file name. TFTP server, okay. So it's not hitting the server, and I don't know why. Um, I also don't know if it will, to be honest. But it should be getting that DHP lease. I really wish it didn't clear the screen. Hmm. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Why is it so slow? Is it trying to get leases on the other ports?
Hmm. Oh, yep, I forgot. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, I see the TFTP hit for that. So, uh, if it were trying to do a TFTP request, I would have seen it. Um, BCFG. And we have this set... Um, okay. Uh, BCFG. Okay. I, I, does has no one ever configured this before? Is this, is this not a thing that anyone has ever done in the history of the world that there's literally no information? Boot position, yup. Path to Yuffie image and boot order name. Path to that, Yuffie, Yuffie readable path. Okay, so how do I do BCFG boot add pixie? You would think that someone has, has maybe, in the history of the world, tried to get this to boot Pixie. And there would maybe be information about how to do this. And none of these websites have it. There's literally no information in the world about doing this. I don't want to boot from a disk. I want to do Pixie, Network, Remote, something, anything, anything. Can any website? Holy shit. Is, is there just nothing? How the fuck is there no information on this? <laughs> is it time to read the source? Apparently! Optionally, um, can you not, can you not set a pixie thing, maybe? I don't even know if this is the right device, because we don't know what a MAC address is. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Because I, I get a lease when I boot. Like, now I don't know if that's due to this. Um, do I just move all the devices up there? Um, uh, let's move 
Seven to one. Eight to two. Nine to three. Uh, okay, so all of the Knicks are there. Everything in here. That's MMC, Shell. Uh, I guess I could move the Shell up there. Move uh, A to 4. Okay, so we'll try and pixie boot all, off all this shit. And we'll see. Um... But I feel like it was already going through all those other devices, trying to boot. But we'll see. I hope that if it can't get a link on a, a Nick, it would just give up very quickly. Okay. Um, so we got into the shell really fast. What? Okay, so now networking just doesn't work. Okay, so now there's just no network interfaces. Okay. Apparently. Apparently changing the boot order just, just deletes the networking stack. <laughs> what? Um, UI app. I, that, that makes no sense. What the fuck? Driver dump. Display driver options. No info. I have config. No, uh, no devices. What the fuck? Um... Uh, I guess boot config, boot move. Uh, let's move the shell four to zero. And do we get the devices back? What the fuck? <sighs> so... <laughs> I, 
What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Does like the MMC need to partially run? Okay, that's my new theory. Is maybe some like for some reason part of the MMC needs to run? We're gonna move um, six to zero. The UI app. I don't know what the UI app is, but uh, an FV. MMC devices. We're just going to try this. What the fuck? <laughs> um Seven one. So we're gonna try and line all these things up. Zero with zero, one with one. Uh let's see, what's two? Eight to two. Eight to two. Um nine to three. Eight to four. Okay, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Um, what's five? Five is pixie. So we'll go right into a shell. So we'll do all this shit, we'll go right into a shell. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, which would be pixie typically, but we're just gonna uh, not do that. Okay. I think there's like things that needed to run here apparently early in the boot order, which is strange to me. I don't quite understand why, but let's just see. Uh, we had more printouts and we have block devices now. Uh, I have config L. Okay, not good enough. But that, but that did improve things. Boot dump. BCFG boots move. Uh, let's just put all of them back in order, I guess. I don't know why the pixies. I guess maybe the the pixie oprom is actually what initializes the nix as well. So we'll, we're gonna move uh, seven to five. We're gonna move eight to six. Um. Boot dump, four, five, six, and then we want to move uh, eight to seven. And then nine to eight. Uh, and we can do boot move uh, B to A. And I think they're all in order now. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C. Okay. So these are all in the like order that they're supposed to be in. Whatever that means. I, I don't know if it means anything, to be honest. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get a TFTP request now. That would be amazing.
but I don't think we're going to. Yeah, uh, the network devices are just gone. We'll do a full reset, like a hardware reset, but I, I don't know what happened. Uh, just gone. Just like no longer, no longer those things exist. Um, How? How does that even work? My theory on ordering I, I thought was solid. Um, like, is the device tree just gone? Do I just, uh, reflash the speed? Um, EMMC. Okay. Uh, and what did I have to do here? I forgot the commands. Um, Uh, how does this work again? Bub T, Macchiato bin. Uh, env default A, env save, set env eth act eth2, set env server IP, uh, 102.168.102, uh, set and IP adder 1.2.168.1.5 bub t and then I need to get the server running which will go um there etf flash build Okay, uh, Pixie, K, 
Okay, uh, Pixie server running, Bub T. See what happens. Good. Uh, so booting, burning that from TFTP to MMC. Yeah, I don't know why that's not actually writing it to MMC. Like burning U-boot image, flash image from TFTP to MMC. Loading, transferred, image checksum, done. Um, but then nothing happens. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> Why that doesn't like go through the flashing process. Um, yep, done. After it's done, reset or power cycle it and check the log info from the ATF to confirm the update is successful. Okay, so we'll just reset. Oh, that like flashed it to maybe the SD card or something. Okay, that did work. I don't change the pinnings. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we have some more stuff in here. Um, Nicks are gone. Mac. Load PCI ROM. Like. And what happens if I don't have an SD card in? Yeah, I think the MMC is actually the SD card in this case. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm at a complete loss. Um, EDK2, uh, network device is missing, or like, gone, disappeared. <laughs> I'm not gonna find any information on this. What the fuck, dude? Like... <laughs> Um, What the hell? It's just, it, it's just fucked.
what happens? <laughs> what the fuck happens? Like... I don't get it. <laughs> I, it, like, how? How is it that sensitive? Um... I don't get it. I, I have no idea uh, why moving around boot options has completely ruined uh, networking on this device. Um... Like EDK2 uh, boot config, restore, reset. Let's move seven to zero. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. It's just, it just like fucking stopped working. I don't I don't even remotely know what would cause that. It makes no sense. Um T 
type. It's like EFI has completely forgotten how to talk SD uh, or talk IP. I don't get it. Like... Did the MAC addresses get set on the NICs and now they don't show up anymore? Cause these are the Mac, like these are the Macs. Um. Why would it just stop working? I don't fucking get it, dude. <sighs> I, I... I don't even know how it's possible to restore this. It just seems fucked. Like, and it's not settings on EF, like EFI side. They're like somewhere else, and I have no idea where they are. I don't know how to like reinitialize them. Um. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. There's there's like no possible information I have here to work with that would do anything. It's just it just doesn't work. It just fucking stopped working. And it's something like it's some persistent EFI settings, and I, I don't know where those are stored, or if I can wipe them, or what. Okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> 3E, 4E. Four 4E four looks like a nick. 4F looks like a nick. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe the dream. Can you just reflash the firmware? We did, and that didn't do shit. It's some other settings that are persistent in a different way that we have no idea what they are. This does look like it's doing things. Reconnects drivers to the specific device. Okay. Hey! Okay, so that did something. <laughs> okay. I have no idea why that's needed, but uh, we did it. We solved 
uh, all of the world's problems. Let's see if I get a uh, TFTP ping when I boot. Um, and it's fucked again. Um, so, there's got to be a way to, like, save that information. 100%. There, there has to be some way to save that. Um... Uh, boot move. Um, zero and seven. Is that a swap? No. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Reconnect. Uh, Reconnect all the devices. And then we're just waiting for that to happen. Um, and I don't know, like, is there a way to save this information? Toggle, but thank you so much for the raid. Hell yeah. How was your stream? We've had some internet problems, so we keep uh, cutting in and out, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. Like, are those things timing out? I, uh, F config L, and there they are. Got our MAC address of three. But, wh what do I get to do with that? Sweet setup, hell yeah, thank you. I Can I save that information? Um. Like, binds a driver, like what, <laughs> how does it even work, <laughs> like what, uh, dump store, boot current, platform recovery, long codes, Con in, con out. Boot information, boot order. How do I like save this? Um. Set var. Set var. Um. Displays or modifies a variable. Okay. How do how do I know? <laughs> How do I know what the variables are? Set a shell variable. Set a Yuffie variable. SF.
Um, update that. Okay, so that's like literally just uh, arbitrary read write to SPI. Compare the contents on a byte by byte basis. F update, what's that? In device with handle 5F, okay, I see. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. I have config L. Um, Okay, how does this work? I'm gonna reset it, but I'm totally gonna lose access to the network. I I I don't understand it. Um, like it'd be nice if I could see those messages and they didn't didn't just get deleted. Uh, yep, back. So. <laughs> No, not, no, stop, stop screen. Oh my fucking God. Nice, that terminal is just gone. I cannot get that terminal back, sick. So like, what I'd like to do is see all of those messages. Uh, resets. But unfortunately, they clear the screen. They, they print some error messages and then they clear the screen. Uh, so we could just, I don't know, tee those out to a file or something. Like, all those variable things. Those are probably uh, relevant things. And I keep using the wrong thing for screen, which then causes that to happen. Uh, cat dev tty usb zero. Let's see if this works. Nice, we can do that. Um, okay, so then we're just gonna tee that to uh, log.txt. Uh, I'll reset that quick. Here we go. Okay, so we should have those in the in the T log, which is good. Then we get to here. Okay. Um. Please move to variable policy. Line codes. Okay, I don't think these things matter. Yeah. I. Okay. Um. Image at that start failed. UTMI five zero one and two. Image at that start failed. Um, and then all those. Okay. Um. Connect. Okay. Um. Hmm. Connecting Eufy drivers. Yep. Why is it just not doing it out of the box? And why are these taking so long? Like, uh, save connect info? I, like, literally have no idea what to even search for. 
the information on this stuff is so bad. Um... I don't get it. I I don't get it. it. And there's everything. That looks good. Um DTP, IP, Pixie Base. Hmm. Driver config, no. Set size, set uh, those, ser serial mode. I just, I don't see what I can do with this. Get MCC. Manages all UFI variables, dump store. to dump all variables, regardless of GUID or name. Dump store all. Is there like a lot of stuff in here? Profiles, debug last error, timeout. Like, I want to just reset EFI somehow. Um, like, is, is there something to do this? Is there a way to just like wipe that slate clean? Cause this is not an, e an EFI board. Like we added EFI after the fact. So I don't, I don't know. Um. Save them to a file. I don't want to do that. Like there's gotta be a way to just reset, right? EDK2 reset EFI. Reset, that literally resets the system. Um, uh, store, store, reset store. Uh, 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 EFI clear store EDK2. Is there a way to do this? Like... D block. This, it's, is this just like rare information to exist in the world of like how to reset EFI if it gets fucked. Open info. Reconnect. D 
disconnect and then connect. Um, like I, I want like a clear all or some shit. Uh, delete variables. Sick. I like that. I like that. That's good. That's good. Just de yeah, delete everything. Cool. Reset. Let's see what happens now. I like that. I like that that did a, a bunch of things. I, I think that's uh, that that's ballpark what I wanted. I think maybe probably potentially. Let's see. Let's see. Will this solve all of the problems that I've had in the past? Um, okay, it's like slow again, but that's maybe okay. It's like the first, the first boot up. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this so far. So I think this is an initializing and connecting to those things. For some reason, the like uh, network cards just seem really slow, unable to boot. Well, that's a new one. That's definitely a new one. I like that. That's good. That's good. Just just fail, straight up failed to boot. Okay, okay. Hmm. So where's that information even stored? Uh, that's what I, one of the things I don't get. Like, where is that information even being stored? Um. It's just gonna fail again, isn't it? There's definitely like variables that matter. I have no idea how they got set up and initialized. You search all technical things on DuckDuckGo? Yeah, I've had much better experience on DuckDuckGo than Google for technical things, to be honest. Uh, start Pixie over IPv4. Remote boot canceled. What? Um, okay. Okay. That might have been one of the nicks, and maybe it's on the next nick now, and we're waiting for that one to time out, and then we'll get to maybe this card. Um, it didn't do failed to boot this time. Okay. Um, this is good. We're in like the standard interface now. Network device list. Nice. Indicates whether it was uh, configured. So we can go look. Three. Configured, uh, not set. Uh, 
Um, this is good. This is good. We're like kind of back into a, a fresh original state. So I'm just resetting it just to see what we uh, run into here. I, I think that first boot, that first fail to boot, maybe it was like setting things up uh, for the first time. Storing like weird information or caching some stuff. I don't know. Um, I like this. This is good. Uh, it seems like things maybe are back to something that's sane-ish. I don't know. Doop do do. Just waiting. I don't know if it's like trying to initialize those nicks. I do want to try out these 10 gig nicks. They look pretty fire. Uh, but I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'll write a driver for this board. Uh, just cause, well, I could actually socket, I could put a PCI card in here. If I put a PCI card in here, then I can, uh, then I can kind of do whatever I want. Cause I can, uh, just put an Intel Nick in there and then just do normal stuff on that. Start Pixie over IPv4. And wow, that was the first request. Uh, okay. That actually, wow. That did a TFTP request, and I saw that hit. And then I responded, uh, file not found. Um, okay, and then I gave it foobar there. Uh, so this is uh, fuzz OS ARC64 dot uh, EFI. Save. Apply. Okay, I don't know why that took so long. Um, unable to boot, okay, so let's see. What we wanna do is just, um, that was, uh, what MAC address was that? Let me see here in Wireshark. The MAC address that hit me was uh, MAC address three. So three, oh shit. Oh, cool. That's going to try and uh, load that again. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm seeing those hits, and it's trying to pull down FuzzOS ARC64 now, which is what I specified uh, for that one specifically, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Maybe I just do EFI Eric 64 or something like that. I, I don't know how I changed the file name per architecture. Um, well, we'll just we'll just call it FuzzOS uh, right now. Fuzz OS. And then uh, we'll just serve a TFTP out of that build directory. Unless I can put uh, slashes in the path. Oh, I probably can. Um, okay, uh, we're serving fuzzos.efi. And let's see what happens here. Bank. Oops. <clears throat> and there we go. So it works, right, on hardware. Not a huge surprise. Um, nice. So if I were to reset this, uh, I want to change that uh, boot priority. So I'm going to actually kill the TFTP server to make sure that it can't boot from that. But yeah, I'm not too surprised that that worked, to be honest. Like, we've just been fighting this fucking firmware. There's there's nothing in here that's really been our fault. Um, clearing those settings apparently uh, fixed things. 
So, um... It's happening. Yeah, we knew that we knew this was going to be easy, right? Like this wasn't this isn't a surprise to us. We knew it was going to be super easy to do this. Um and then hopefully we can just set the boot priority uh for that nick to the top and then hopefully uh it'll go pretty fast. Um, I don't know what it's initializing, although it takes a long time to initialize the Nicks. Uh, hopefully it won't do that if I change this boot priority. So... <laughs> I, I don't know, like, we didn't have this timeout issue before, which is kind of weird. Um... Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, starting Pixie. Yep, I see the hit here. Obviously, uh, I don't have the server running, so it uh, basically told it to fuck off. <laughs> I have no idea why these things are so slow. It's not hitting it again, so I think it's just waiting probably for another Nick to get a lease. I wonder if there's like a timeout that was really short, or maybe I disabled the other Nick somehow at some point. Um, and now it's trying to load all the Nicks. So boot manager. And then how do I change the ordering on these? Move highlight, okay. Like, and the. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a way for me to change this ordering. Maybe it's this. Oh, here we go. Boot options, change boot order. There we go. Here we go. Uh, change the order. Three. Page up. Uh, move up. Okay, plus. Done. Done. Okay, so uh, boot from Mac 3 which is that port is now the number one priority. Let's double check. Yep, looks good. That is at the top of the list. Um, console options. Oh, cool. Okay, um, F10 will save. Yes to confirm. There's also an F9, reset to defaults. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's uh, reset to defaults. Yes, configuration changed. Boot options, change boot order. Okay, apparently that wasn't part of it. Um, F10, save. Okay. I'm like scared that that's gonna change behind the scenes on me, but it's not, okay, okay. Uh, so we'll just do a reset then. Here we go. Let's see if it, it boots from that early. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, oh! And there's the hit! Oh, hell yeah! Um, oh, baby! Okay, I'm hitting the reset button. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. I'm counting. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. And uh, boot options. Oh, that's the timeout. I think that's a three second timeout. We can probably get rid of that. And here we go. There's Fuzz OS. All right. Sick. And there's our EFI main at Leet. All right. Not bad. Hell yeah. All right. So now we're running Fuzz OS on, uh, on hardware. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. So there's apparently a 12 volt connector that I can use rather than the power supply. Um, and I might I might have a 12 volt supply somewhere so I can kind of nix the the big beefy power. Oh, I know why. I used the big power supply before because I had SATA ports and thus I needed to have a, a SATA power. Uh, but in this situation, uh, I don't need that, so I can get rid of that. And then um, I can probably like rack this or put it in a better spot, throw it across the room. I guess I just need a USB port. Um, yeah, I just need this close enough that I can run a USB cable to it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Unfortunately, it's been like five hours of fucking around and, and making no progress on the actual OS, uh, but having it run on uh, physical hardware has been, I think, is going to be nice. Um, and I guess we can probably do ARM development and uh, we can probably do ARM development in parallel with our uh, x86 development. So, hell yeah. I'm super happy with that. And that looks good. Loaded at the address that we expected it to. Physical memory free. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Python. We have 16 gigs on here. 1024, 1024. Yeah. 15.97. Uh, yeah. So, hell yeah. See you around. Cheers. Oh, yeah. We got to, we should host someone. Fuck. I always forget to do that. Um, who are we going to host? Who are we gonna host? Um, let's find someone quick. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. There is not much going on right now. God damn. Um. Hmm. I don't really see, uh... Dev that I'm too familiar with going on here. Toting? We can do toting. I think, I think that's going to be the play here. Alright. Let's see if I can uh, figure this out. See ya. He just he just raided us. Isn't he live? I mean he's it looks live to me. <laughs> looks fucking live to me. See ya. <laughs>